Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast and a game or a shoutcast and a walkthrough tutorial for Salazar's or Salagaz's lair. Um, a lot of you guys out there had asked, why don't I do the premium content? I wasn't originally planning on doing it, but then um, I just got a lot of requests. So here it is. This is going to be the campaign version of Salagaz's lair. Um, you can get the premium content as little as 99 cents. But I like the game so much, I, I paid the recommended price, and hopefully you guys will too, since, you know, it's, it's been really, really fun playing this. Now, no real reason to take a look at the upgrades. I am using all of the available upgrades for the premium content, one additional militia, and let's go ahead and get this game going. Now, one of the bonuses is that you do start off with extra gold at the start of the mission. And now, taking a look at what will be coming into play here, I am going to be going for my classic strategy, getting in a lot of archers early on. But I will also be going for some mage towers and also some um, dwarven, dwarven towers. I'm starting to like the dwarven towers just a little bit more. And then, uncharacteristically of me, I will be going for some um, barracks. So yeah, just just a standard strategy that I that I'm trying to utilize and execute just a little bit more. I lot want more kill zones. I want to I want to be able to deal a lot more damage, and really to be able to slow down units is very important if you're going to be using those dwarven towers. So let's go. Actually, I, yeah, let's go ahead and do this one and rally it over here as well. So this guy should have been an archer tower. Oh, oh well. Um, live, learn, and if I need to, I can always re-record. So let's go ahead and get this game going. Now you do have a lightning bolt spell as well, and what it does is it just zaps something straight up. So it does it deals a little bit of damage, or it does a fair amount of damage. How much does those guys have? 60 damage. I'm not exactly sure how much damage it does, because sometimes it does a lot, sometimes it does a little. I haven't researched it enough to really take a look at it and say, oh yeah, that's a lot of a lot of damage so gonna go ahead and just continue these upgrades here i do have double militia or excuse me double um double reinforcements over here so i'm pretty sure that my dwarven tower um, is going to be able to deal a lot of damage and i'm going to try to just bring it on i'm going to try to get as many waves as i can and and just try to flood the screen with units um, and see how difficult this stage really really is now these guys do have medium armor so I should have started to upgrade it. Um, so there we go. Brigands over here. And now these guys, uh, let's go ahead and stop, slow them down just because I don't like, um, I need to make sure that I have more guys over here as well. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and bring in, uh, let's zap. Reinforcements, call it in early. All right. So let's go ahead and continue to bring in these reinforcements once more. Very, very nice. I, I did get the reinforcements that look like Yoda, um, Obi-Wan. Occasionally you get Darth Vader, but that one, um, that is a few and far between. Darth Vader just looks in all black, and I'm not quite sure why I have three Yodas and why Yoda's chucking spears. But, you know, all in good fun, right? Now, there are going to be gargoyles now, so I do want to definitely upgrade that to upgrade those. And now that's, hmm, I should be more than enough to take care of this wave here. Let's go ahead and put these guys down over here. And, oh, good gosh. And let's get that a little bit ahead. Okay, that's all wrong. Now, it should pretty much be no problem. I should probably start upgrading this guy as well. And there's 20 waves, so kind of pace yourself. And there are going to be a lot of units that you need to take care of. Let's go ahead and zap. Oh, there we go. Militia. Militia once more. Since I have double guys over here, I feel a little bit more confident if I have um, if I have my militia reinforcements here. So, there we go. Very nice. Handled that first wave quite easily. Let's go ahead and, and upgrade the towers once more. OV1 down over there. Continue to reinforce as well. Some trolls will be coming in. So yep, lots of trolls coming in there. So high, now trolls, you really need high damage really, really quickly because they do regenerate. And with the help of these militias and these dwarven bombardment towers, it should be very, very easy. Start 
get some carpet bombing going. So far, right now, I'm just trying to maximize damage wherever I can. These guys start to become a problem because they can start, they can fight back, and they will start chucking as well. So I will go ahead and and do that wave there, and then pull these guys a little bit further back, just so I have a little bit more distance and a little bit more room to maneuver with. Let's one more time. So I do have a lot of gold right now. Um, hmm. Do that. Do that. Do that. All right. So upgrading the towers, and these guys are gonna start to, you know, throw down into here. That's a little bit of an issue. So let's go ahead and zap them. The carpet bombing going to help out a lot, and this is not looking good. So let's go ahead and continue to call in these waves of reinforcements. Oh, good gosh! They should all get stopped over here. And um, another round of carpet bombing should definitely help. I should have changed that location. And oh, good gosh. Mm. All right. Okay, getting getting got a little bit close there, but not not worrying too much. Oh, there's Darth Vader. So got a little bit close, but not too bad so far. Oh, let's zap see. That one necromancer over there does, didn't get taken down. Let's go ahead and finish him off now. So let's call in another early wave. There. Go ahead and start slowing them down. Do that. Uh, a little bit too early. See, that's some of the things I don't like because it's like on the top of the screen. It, it actually falls down faster. So there is going to be a lot of mage magic happening over here. Let's go ahead and start We're getting reinforcements, giving them a little bit better armor if I can. Continue to upgrade. As you upgrade, new guys will constantly come out. So that's the reason why I'm upgrading here because every time it upgrades, I'm actually kind of abusing the system a little bit, trying to get my reinforcements out faster. And that is one of the basic strategies, reinforcing in order to, um, or using the upgrade to reinforce and get more guys much more quickly. Oh, this guy, this side over here. So, so unfortunate for me, these, these heavy armor guys do come in from both sides. So I will need to start hitting on this side as well. That's... Go ahead and do this right there. All right, so that's gonna clear out a lot. I can now upgrade that. And everything's just coming on the left. So um, luckily for me, I do have two of these sorcerer towers that um, remove magic or reduce the amount of armor that people have very, very quickly. So there, do that again. And oh, more rocketeers. Okay, so I'm gonna need So the, the reason why I'm, I'm getting in more Archer Towers is because they kind of boost past things. And when they boost past things, they end up slowing down to another area. So that's why I had to get another Archer Tower down over here to make sure that they didn't simply boost past. Um, I probably could have escaped without having to worry about it all too much. But I wanted to play it a little bit more, a little bit more safe just in case anything snuck by. I want to try to show you a perfect, perfect game. I could sell this tower probably and, and be okay. Let's throw that up. So right now I'm not even using any of the root towers. I'm just using high, high damage towers all over the place. And you know, things, things seem to be working out well.
So, so far, just a lot of damage. Not much to really write home about. Let's see how much... Okay, so let's go ahead and put that right there. Bring the next wave. Yeah, might as well start getting root. Oh, red guys are starting to come out. Okay, remember red guys do... Um, those little red guys are annoying that when they die, they can deal a fair amount of damage. Oh, that's a lot of skeletons to deal with. Right, let's go ahead and start rooting them to death. I don't know if clicking on that actually speeds things up, but um, my wife told me that it did, so why not believe her? So, so far, everything's just working out very, very well. No real reason. I guess I can put another archer tower here. I'll make it as that tower, just to give it a little bit more range and shoot across the center. Trap and shit. Come on, Colin. There you go. So very, very high range. Can start shooting them coming out of there. Let's go ahead into that. A lot of rooting, a lot of just guys just getting stuck. Exactly what I wanted to see. My guys, I also have that holy damage on those paladins so that they do area effect damage. Very nice, very effective. And that also has full damage as well, so it's going to do a lot of damage every time it hits. This poor tower over here is not even shooting at anything. At least these guys, their secondary attacks are still doing something. So yep, just this giant, giant guy. How do you slow him down? You gotta throw everything you got at him. Also, he, he's able to eat through, um, eat through guys very quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another, um, a faster reloading barracks over here so that he, he chomps longer the longer he chomps the, the the more he's delayed and that's actually a very very good thing that's what you're trying to go for try and and that's ba the basic strategy in attempting to slow him down so let's go ahead and do this here let's 
do that, and then I can reposition this guy down over here so that they will all be fighting over here. And you can see how e how quickly he just eats and eats and eats and eats people. So you really need faster guys to respond. So you're going to see him come out, come out, come out, and they're going to continue to die. So that is going to definitely be an issue, and I really need more damage on these guys. Wow, this is a lot harder than, than I remember. All right, there he goes. Everything's focusing over here. Finally, the giant spider does go down. All right, so thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed the the bonus premium content on campaign mode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.